safety culture is the operational heartbeat of working teams around the world. Its mobile-first operations platforms, including iAuditor and Edapt, leverage the power of human observation to identify issues and opportunities for businesses to improve every day. Their flagship product, iAuditor, can be used to provide visibility and insights to help raise safety and quality standards across an organisation. It enables facilities teams to collect consistent data, standardise operations, send reports, identify failed areas and get problems resolved with easy-to-use checklist software. We join sales manager Alexander Brooks-Sykes to discuss how this technology empowers frontline workers and improves quality across the workplace. What is the safety culture story? So safety culture started with a very simple question, how can we make workplaces safer? And Luke and Nair, our founder, uh, started in a, in a garage, which is very typical of a tech startup in around 2004 and created iAuditor. Um, it was a very basic checklist app at the moment and between then and now it's, it's, it's come a heck of a long way. So it's been used across lots of different industries now. Facilities management being one of our key ones. Some of the key facts, we do about um, 600 million checks a year, 50,000 uh, lessons um, a day on EDAP, and then millions of corrective actions. So, you know, across 28,000 different organizations, iAuditor and EDAP are having a positive impact, helping raise standards, whether it's health and safety, quality, efficiency, um, and helping everyone get home safe at night, which is one of the key things we set out to do. What inspired you to join Safety Culture? Two main reasons um, as to why I started with Safety Culture. The first and probably the, the biggest of the two uh, is the company vision, just Safety Culture from the moment I heard about Safety Culture, about iAuditor and how they wanted to help organisations and businesses empower frontline workers to help raise their game in health, safety, quality, efficiency, you know, so many different use cases. I just thought this is something I could really get behind and, and buy into. And then the second thing is working with some amazing people. The colleagues that I have today, I've been here about three years now. I can honestly say they're the most passionate, intelligent and, and dedicated people that I have the pleasure of working with. And I think that that's infectious for me. You know, I come in every day trying to do the best work that I can do, but definitely for the customers, I'd like to think that, you know, that they're getting the, uh, the best attention and, and the best care and knowledge. So yeah, those are the two main reasons that I started with Safety Culture. What technology should FM teams be investing in to future-proof businesses? One of the key things for me when it comes to investing in technology, and it's great that people are investing in technology, is uh, empowering the frontline worker. It's one of the main uh, visions of Luke and as our founder, um, really giving that power to the people on the front line. Globally, it's about 8% of the workforce actually work on that front line. So they're the eyes, the ears, the people that are seeing things as they happen. So it's really important that we can give them technology, mobile first, ideally, technologies, that allows them to capture information and raise issues and actions to the people they need to know as and when they need to know. So it's all around kind of that real-time data piece. I think the other area is automation, so whether that's using sensors or other IoT technology. Um, one of the things that we work with our customers around is temperature and humidity. Um, and these are some key areas of focus and, and key data sources that we can tap into. So whether it's looking at you know, the temperatures within a, a chiller as an example or uh, we do a lot of work with facilities management companies around their HVAC checks. So, you know, being able to track as and when a unit is about to go offline, it's overheating, being able to get there before it does go offline uh, and, and essentially break because there's, you know, a bigger cost affiliated to replacing um, an HVAC unit than there is to just repairing it. So I'd say these are the two main areas for, for me. Um, so empowering the frontline workers and then also looking at sensors and, and IoT technology. How does your technology impact frontline workers? Sure, so Safety Culture have two flagship products. We have iAuditor and EDAP. So iAuditor is a mobile first application. People have it on their mobile phones or their tablets. And the idea behind it is it's a really simple, easy to use data capture tool um, at its most basic level. But um, digging into that, people can take photos, um, assign actions to people if anything needs remedial work, raise issues uh, if there's something on site that needs, you know, sorted straight away. So it's really empowering that frontline worker to be the eyes and ears. The, the second product that we have is EdApp and it's a really powerful um, learning and development platform, which is all also mobile first. It's kind of one of the main focuses of safety culture. And what it allows you to do is constantly upskill um, and reiterate um, training lessons. So, you know, training typically can be quite stuffy in, in, a, you know, in a big boardroom with lots of people on PowerPoint. The idea behind this is it's digestible and it's that constant learning that people can do on the fly.
How does your technology support sustainability goals? So there's a more obvious uh, impacts and benefits, such as obviously not having to use pen and paper, digitising it. And then one of the other ones as well is reducing time travel between locations because people can actually complete their inspections and, and checklists on their mobile devices. That data automatically flows back to the people that need to know. Outside of that, you know, uh, we work with a lot of our facilities management customers to look at the data they're capturing within analytics and, and spot trends. Maybe there's areas they can reduce waste. Um, if you know there's particular checks that have been done that are highlighting those trends, we can then put things into action. The other side of things is the sensors that I mentioned earlier. So we can put sensors in place to help monitor temperatures. So maybe you know the heating is on in a particular location. It doesn't need to be. That's obviously wasting energy and not very energy efficient or sustainable. So we can kind of tweak things in accordance with that. But yeah, there's lots of different ways in which you can use the platform to help with those goals. What types of businesses are currently using your technology and how has it improved their operations? So one of the great things about Iodotry is very industry agnostic. So within facilities management, you know, it can be every single industry imaginable. So I work with um, lots of different companies and organisations um, from all shapes and sizes and, and help them implement um, a more streamlined, efficient uh, digital process. So within facilities management, you have the more standard kind of health and safety ones, HVAC that I mentioned earlier. Um, and, and one of the key focuses for our facilities management companies, especially um, the larger ones, is helping them adhere to uh, specific SLAs and KPIs that they have in place with their customers. So we work really closely with them to make sure that the data they're capturing allows them to see if they're actually hitting those. Um, so yeah, those are some of the main areas. For more information about safety culture, visit safetyculture.com.